So if you are connected to the pump, it's okay. We sold 1,300 domains. Hosting here is um, not exist. Of course, the best offset builder in Brunei, you know, it's side problem. Make changes that you believe provide some results, you know? Hi, let's talk about hosting in Brunei. Firstly, a little bit represents the country. So it's about like half a million people. It's like small, like Singapore. And uh, internet penetration is like, here is like 99%. Of course, about development, far away you can see the Sultan Palace. By the way, it's closed for three years, after like three, four years after COVID. I don't know why it's still closed. Maybe Sultan dislike to see people, I don't know. But at the same time, you can see guys who work here for $1 per, per, per ride. So, country is nice. There are lots of oil. Maybe not lots of oil, but enough oil for this half million population. And uh, internet economy here is not as huge. Let's start with languages. So, firstly, it's Malay, English, and a little bit Arabic. Because it's Islamic country, so it's like Sultan. Arabic culture, but Arabic culture is not as popular as um, Islam. And Islam is also not very strict in, as, it, as in Saudi Arabia, but still you can be like, I don't know, the rules in law are very, very strictly. They can, like, you can be like, a, officially you can be killed or something like this. So like, rules are really very strictly here. But from the Islamic point of view, they're not as strictly and as an Arabic countries like I, I call it, call about like Saudi Arabia or something like this. Mostly all websites are in two languages, English and Malay. So Malay is official, but English is very popular. Probably everybody knows English. If you would like to buy the main, ha! Huh, it's only $250, just about. It's end customer price. A local registry announce it on the website we sold 1300 domains what it's just a record you know 1300 domains domains of course of course are dot com dot bn and dot org sorry dot gov dot bn and others government of course they use dot gov and uh, business use dot com or dot bn by the way I didn't find bn websites maybe they not exist but technically they sell dot com dot bn and dot bn there are some rules and of course, on the registry website, no rules. It's just half work, as should be in this country. And nobody searched for the business purposes, you know, like, like in Singapore, I just was, you know, ever government organizations, they search how to increase the potential life of the, of the people. Here, you just can go in the museum, you can be well, like a lone person in, today, and still they have like three people in the ticketing area, but it's okay. So, regarding domains, 1,300 for today. And of course, because price is $250 to the end customers, I don't know what is the original price. The registry did not publish it, but still, if you would like to buy, it's too expensive. So, mostly people use .com and no other obligations for this. Regarding hosting, wow! Hosting here is uh, not exist. Technically, there are some hosting companies. They're like, you know, it's like half web design studios, half hosting companies. I found one hosting company who announced prices. Other are just web development and you just need to apply for the price. And with domains as well. I didn't find any single company who sell local domains. It's just normal search. You just search domain, you just buy it. That's all. No price, no search. Like. Stone Age. Okay, it's the rules here. By the way, this is uh, this is like. By the way, this is uh, they call it uh, a village, but technically it's a like fisherman village. It's very nicely represent the country. So half half of the country lives like part of the country lives very well. You know, expensive restaurants they still are here. Uh, like palaces, of course, of course, uh, very beautiful mosques. Of course, mosques are very nice here. But some people still living like this, 
and it's also represent the hosting education like hosting level here okay let's come to the hosting price it's about like seven ten dollars but Brunei dollars the same as Singapore dollars is like like five six American dollars and of course if you find the price you regularly you do not buy, find the price so mostly people host outside just because it's understandable and of course if a local design studio made a website for you they will host with themselves support if it exists it's Malayan Malayan English possibly a little bit Arabic but as I said it's only for some part of people yeah regarding website builders of course the best website builder in Brunei you know it's SitePro of course of course possibly if you have three websites here you you can beat the record we have a little bit bigger number but but still you know it's Brunei uh, people are friendly very nice uh, about life hacks life hack number one make changes that you believe provide some results you know when you have like 100 tasks and you don't know and you know that mostly many of them will not provide results so influent changes that that can produce potentially results work with uh, right tasks put your heart into it you will get results of course if you work with tasks that have no potential of course you will have no potential this this is life hack number one uh, if you talk about cloud and on-premises here of course I would suggest cloud just because with uh, this unexpected rules in the country my personal opinion maybe country is very safe but from the internet point of view I suggest cloud here uh, if we talk about website builders still many websites do not many companies do not have a website at all and of course website website builder should be good entrance for them of course we try to put here a lot of effort through our partners or through telecoms and uh, through government organizations but as uh, mostly people here focus on government organization you know they there are no normal business usually normal business has no website so as regular business has no website because it depends on the government technically the culture goes like you know in uh, in, in Russia they said uh, that you are on the oil oil pump so if you are connected to the pump it's okay if you are not connected you are not rich so similarly here as well if you are nearby the oil possibly you are rich if you are far away you don't need website it will not help you. come to this beautiful country I would not suggest to spend lots of time here but it's really beautiful from tourism point of view and there are lots of neighbors countries my opinion like lots of customers here host in Malay just because nice support it's fast and Malaysian hostings are really huge and of course support is nice thanks for your time and uh, see you in a new video